Good day, students. I am Dr. Monica Khetarpal. I am Associate Professor of Physics in Government Dungar College, Bikaner. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture of MSc Final Physics. The paper I am dealing is the fifth paper, that is condensed matter physics, and the topic is superconductivity. In my previous lecture, I have determined the thermodynamics of superconducting transition. This thermodynamics of superconducting transition was derived using the concept of Meissner effect. According to Meissner effect, in a superconducting state, magnetic field must be zero. We have taken type first superconductor, that means B equal to zero total magnetic field is completely excluded from the interior of superconductor. And the Meissner effect shows that the transition between normal and the superconducting state is thermodynamically reversible. And this reversible transition is similar to that of a transition, which is liquid vapor phase transition. Hence, we can apply the same type of thermodynamics in our case that means in the superconducting state also. So using the second law of thermodynamics and in the application of magnetic field, we have derived the Gibbs free energy difference. The expression we have already obtained is the, here, this first term. This is the Gibbs free energy of the normal state at a particular temperature T. And this zero means that there is no magnetic field in this state. The second term, Gs, this denotes the Gibbs free energy of superconducting state at the similar temperature T and the magnetic field here is also zero. Hc is the critical magnetic field. We know that critical magnetic field is the field at which there is a transition from normal state to superconducting state. So in the normal state and in the superconducting state, there is a difference in Gibbs free energy and this difference is given by a factor Hc square upon 8 pi. Now using this expression, we will derive another thermodynamical parameters so I am firstly deriving my entropy. Entropy is denoted by letter capital S. Capital S is equal to minus del G upon del T at constant pressure and H is the enthalpy. Now using the relation, this relation is known as Proter and Casimir relation. Using the relation, we obtain our entropy difference. Difference Differentiating this expression, I get the entropy of normal state minus SN0. And from here, I get entropy of superconducting state plus SS0. And differentiating this term, I get 2HC upon 8 pi and differential of HC with respect to T. Now, entropy difference will be SN0 minus SS0 is equal to minus HC upon 4 pi dHC upon dt. This is the difference in entropy between the normal and superconducting state. Here, in the right hand side, we have variation of HC with temperature. Since we know that Hc is dependent on temperature according to the graph, that means the critical magnetic field Hc decreases as temperature increases. This shows, it is evident that value of Hc decreases as value of T increases. Hence, dHc upon dt this factor will be less than zero. That means it will be negative. So 
the right hand side of entropy difference equation it will be positive that means the entropy in the normal state will be more than entropy in the superconducting state as we already know what is entropy since entropy is a measure of disorder therefore superconducting state it will be more ordered as compared to normal state hence we can say that superconducting state is the state of higher order so we have derived the difference in gibbs free energy which is the relation obtained by crotter and casimir and we have determined the difference in entropy of the two states that is normal state and superconducting state now we will derive the difference in heat capacity of the system before deriving that i am telling you what will happen at t equal to tc at t equal to tc we can take hc to be equal to 0 because transition occur transition can occur by the variation of temperature despite varying the magnetic field and from this we can see that at t equal to tc hc is 0 so sn0 minus ss0 will be equal to 0 so entropy of two phases this will be equal at critical temperature this is the condition of equilibrium now since entropy difference we have derived it to be hc upon 4 pi dhc upon dt from here we will derive the difference in heat capacity the difference in heat capacity of superconducting state and normal state can be expressed by relation tds upon dt t so here i am writing the difference in entropy of superconducting and normal state putting the value of ss minus sn we get t differential with respect to temperature and difference in entropy is hc upon 4 pi dhc upon dt we have to differentiate it with respect to temperature the first term we get is the differential of this hc with respect to temperature dhc upon dt being same now keeping hc to be same i am differentiating dhc upon dt i get d2hc upon dt square so i get the difference in the heat capacity of superconducting and normal state now by varying the temperature we can change the state of a material we don't need magnetic field to change the state of a material so i am using hc to be zero putting hc to be zero and varying the temperature to t equal to tc the difference in heat capacity of the states can be determined so t is tc tc upon 4 pi this is whole square at t equal to tc and hc is substituted to be zero so i got the value of difference in heat capacity to be equal to tc upon 4 pi dhc upon dt whole square at t equal to tc this formula is known as rotinger formula and this formula is in accordance with the specific heat versus temperature graph here i am showing the electronic contribution of specific heat its variation with temperature this is the graph of specific heat for normal state because here temperature is greater than tc now when we move to tc 
it is clearly evident from this graph that there is an abrupt jump in the specific heat this jump can be seen earlier this was the graph now this has shoot up and this graph follow the path that means at t equal to tc there is a discontinuity in the specific heat curve of superconducting material as there is a transition from normal state to superconducting state we know that entropy we have derived the our entropy using the expression minus del g upon del t and from this entropy we have derived specific heat specific heat is tds upon dt putting the value of entropy we get it to be minus t del uh, double differential of g with respect to temperature so specific heat can be obtained from gibbs free energy by the its double differential with respect to temperature now we know that order of transition can be determined by the order of differential of gibbs free energy since specific heat contain the term which is second order derivative of g so this transition is a second order transition hence in a superconducting state there is a second order transition at t equal to tc so we have derived our thermodynamic properties of superconducting state using the similar concept as that of a liquid vapor phase transition concept we have derived our change in the gibbs free energy and the change in the entropy and change in specific heat which we are showing by rotinger's formula i hope students you must have understood what i taught today thank you students for watching